talking options. I like to talk options. Sweet. Bam, welcome back to talking options. We got to the best part of the course. Now we get to talk some options. So now you got the four dimensions of trading out the way. You downloaded the Thinkorswim platform, so you're already looking at the charts, and you got a little bit of the tutorials to walk you through it. And now we're starting to learn how can we pick trades based off of seasonality with futures trading, and now how can you hedge your risk with options trading? That's the secret sauce of it all, right? That's why talking options gives you a better option than the option that you previously had. I mean, hey, it's the least we could do. So what we're gonna do right now is I'm gonna show you on the Thinkorswim platform, but this time on my phone, so you can see how trading on the go actually works. All you gotta do is download that platform and you can start busting those calls and puts literally on your phone, making money. <laughs> Remember, this is tied to your bank account, so you could potentially make money every week depending on how much you wanna hustle. So let's talk about it. Downloading the Thinkorswim platform, you can do that in the Apple Store, you can also do it on Google Play. Um, I already downloaded it, so when you do, you'll log in and you'll see this page right here. You'll see your watch list. So I already have a watch list set up with um, the major future underlines that I trade. Right now, what I wanna show you though is crude oil. So crude oil, all you have to do is type in forward slash CL, make sure it's on the right um, month contract. And so right now the market is closed, so prices, that's the reason why it's not moving. But you can see last check, last time that the market was open, it was trading at 56.73. So we're looking at the chart here. Let's say for example, it's Wednesday and we're about to see um, some volatility in the market because the economic news announcement is about to come out. And let's say that we also know there's been some volatility geopolitically with the president. So we know that whatever happens with this economic news announcement, there's gonna be some volatility in the market, right? So if you were just trading futures, you'd say, oh, well, I have to wait for the announcement to come out and then I can pick a direction. BS, you don't have to do that when we're talking about options trading. Now you can do multi-like strategies and I'm gonna show you how. So the first thing, is let's look at the chart. So we're looking at an hour chart, and let's say again, we're thinking that we don't know what is gonna happen in the market. So we're not gonna choose a direction in this trade. What I'm actually gonna show you is one of our strategies called a long straddle. And so a long straddle consists of two positions, a long call and a long put. I told you about both of them in the last video. So a long call is bullish, and then a long put is bearish. And so you're wondering, how am I gonna make money with this? I'm gonna show you how. So the first thing that you have to do is you go over to the options chain right here. And so this right here is that beauty that we're talking about. You see the calls on the left side, the puts on the right side. So we're gonna do a long of each. This is what I want you to remember with this. Just remember that you always buy long at the ask and you sell at the bid. Write that down if you need to. Long is ask. Bid is sell. So long call, long call, long put, we're talking about the ask section. Long um, short put, short call, we're talking about the bid. So if we're doing a long straddle, doing um, a long call and a long put, we're gonna look at the ask section. And when I do straddles, um, sometimes I like to do them at the money. Typically they're done at the money. And so you see here that it says 0.85 for a long call. And so this is just indicative of how much would it cost for me to buy one contract of crude oil. So in this case, one contract is about $850 because you have to multiply it by 100. So if we drop this down to one contract, you can see it's gonna cost you $853 for a long put. Again, long positions, you are paying now. So this is the most that you'll be able to lose on this long position going on um, bullish. And then on the long put position, let's put this in here. So you can see you can press um, options leg. You can do multiple legs. Now you're going on the put side and you're gonna go under the ask and you can see it says right here, 120. So I'm gonna press done. Oh, another thing I wanna mention because I talked about in the last video how you have to look at your expirations. Are you doing this based on an expiration that's soon or are you doing this based on a monthly expiration or a weekly expiration? There's volatility that ranges in that. I can't talk about that all that right now because we'd be here forever. You're gonna have to take education for that. But what I will do is show you the different um, expirations that you have here. So the first one that we're looking at right now is called a weekly expiration because we're doing it based off of volatility that we're expecting to happen 
right now. So being that that's happening, we have the September underlying that we're looking at. If we were looking at another underlying, we'd look at October or November or December here. So being that we're doing a long call, long put with a weekly expiration, that's where it is there. We're gonna click this button up here called done. And you can see that it's telling me to do this trade now, both a long call, long put, it's gonna cost me $1,800, $1,877 to be exact. That means that the most that I can lose with this position is that amount. But being that I'm expecting some high volatility, that's what we're hoping for with this particular trade, right? And so what we're gonna do as you can see, all right, so this is what you're looking at right now, just to give you a clear indication, is the order editor or the receipt. So this is telling you about the trade overall. These are your two positions. You're buying both positions, and that's the cost of the trade. Everything else, don't change it. Leave it how it is for now. Um, now you're going to press confirm. It's telling you here that your max profit is infinite. Again, that's your max loss. The buying power effect of this was 803. So then we press paper trade, boom shakalaka, our order is sent. So that's how you do a long straddle on crude oil. Of course you could have just done a long position or a short position if you wanted to be directional. Then you would have just taken off one of the legs and you could just did that. Or we could have even did a short um, straddle in another case. But short straddles, you don't typically use those for economic news. You use that when you're thinking of low volatility. Again, I wish we could talk about all of that in this one video, but this is just the basics of options trading. Of course, I'm gonna have a lot more on our YouTube page and I'll have more details for you next time. But until next time, make sure you talk in options, guys.